Bullet is that? Oh, shit. So she ends up nuking them. Dilo, ay, yeah. Clutch. I'm in the clutch, we in the clutch, the team up in clutch. You think that we suck, your dreams are the luck, your ship is just sunk, we turn out for what? Ooh, yeah. See that my face is up in disgust because people talking a mess, but there's nothing to discuss. I'm just being honest, I'm keeping it a bug. Uh huh. We in the clutch! What's going on, clutch? What? What up, what up, what up? What up? It's your boy Ross. We are clutch going. Bro. I forgot we were going rogue right here. <laughs> I did. I actually yeah. forgot we were going rogue. Yeah. What's good, Rogue Squad? We got Tanya, the Ice Cage Demon. Yeah, man. Uh, by none other than CJ, Ice the champ, man. And uh, uh, apparently he had uh, put on Twitter that he ended up catching COVID. Yeah, man. A few so days prayers ago. up to the homie, man. For sure, yeah, man. Hope for safe and uh, quick recovery. Yeah, Speedy. man. Uh, this COVID thing is still unfortunately a situation, so y'all be careful out there, be safe. Man, I didn't whip the mask back out, man. Mm -hmm. After seeing people, um, well, the numbers have kind of, kind of start back increasing, so make sure you guys are being safe out there. If for sure, going out, and again, it's not just for you, it's for other people as well. Not yeah, everybody for sure. has the same immune system, so we need to not only be conscious of ourselves but our environment. So, sure. prayers to the homie, and uh, let's see some of this dope content, yeah, man. Let's do it. I hope I pronounced that right. Oh, what is that? So then after this is over, she's like, wow, y'all did it. Congratulations. Now let's start exercise two. Huh? Y'all got 48 hours to get your asses to the camp. So uh, quit looking at me stupid and get to stepping. Is this nigga serious? <laughs> what, what, what happened? What happened? What happened? Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time <laughs> to return to the round table the of Black Air Force activity uh -oh. because a new challenger has approached to be judged and to take their rightful seat at this sacred table of demons. And it's none other than this sweet, innocent little... <sighs> Bro, I'm not even going to sugarcoat this shit. Yeah. The literal spawn of Satan, Tanya Von der Gerichoff. This ain't no damn little girl. This is a demon child, a warmonger, a tyrant. This is pure evil, immortal horror. Like, I think I teased this video all the way back with like Truck Coon. What was that, like a year ago? <laughs> Jesus. But y'all already know we got the evidence on deck. And it is finally time to observe the Isekai D. She look evil. So, she without does. further ado, Exhibit A. It's the eyes. Hi, right, ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you Exhibit A, the origins of a demon. Oh so we boy. start off in 2013. Meet Tanya. I beg your pardon? Yeah. This Jeff Bezos ass businessman is Tanya. So as we can see, bro is laying off this guy right here. Bro said, listen, you ain't clocking in on time. You do subpar work and you lazy as hell. So you fired. Damn. But bro's like, please, I have a family. But then he says, uh, is that supposed to be my problem? You see, if you wasn't doing some shitty ass work, you wouldn't be in this situation right now. So f out of my face. Oh my God. <laughs> Later on, while he's at the train station, he ends up getting pushed into the tracks by the dude that got let off. Oh! And then he appeared once more. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. <laughs> What's good with y'all niggas? Y'all never thought y'all would see me again, huh? <laughs> well, I'm back even better than ever. Look at me on the train. What, y'all thought y'all would never see me again after what the Tokyo over fingers did? After I squished that bitch and made her a can of spam? <laughs> it's so satisfying to see a protagonist bone skewed with on my windshield. You will be a fine addition to my collection. Now, time to get some class. Oh, what? Oh! So homie ended up getting reincarnated into <laughs> Tanya. And now bro really wanted to trenches. He got reincarnated. So wow. Had a plan. She said, I. Right. I'll just join the military. So she ended up rising through the ranks pretty fast because she has the conscience of a 40 year old man. So she ended up becoming a drill sergeant. So she like, I ain't listen to fuck up. You listen to everything I say. If you disobey me, I will not hesitate to put my foot up your ass. If you disobey me again, I will put a bullet in your motherfucking skull. Am I clear, nigga? Um, question, can I go to the bathroom? Sure, you can go to the bathroom. You know what? You could do it right now for everybody to see. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, obviously, <laughs> oh they're taking my. this as a joke because they think that, oh, this is just a little girl. Yeah. But, dear God, they will learn. Because later on in the day, an explosion ends up happening. 
and she blasted these niggas out of the classroom. Oh. So then she walks up and she's like, mm, mm, mm. look at y'all on the ground, ass tooted up like a bitch. So then bro tried to hit her, but then she just slapped him. Then she says, didn't I tell you if you disobey me, I will put a bullet in your skull? Looks like your brains need to be rearranged oh! because you can't follow orders for shit. But then dog has to stop. He's like, hello, hello, chill. Right. So after this incident, they ended up sending her on this recon mission. So she ends up finding some enemies. So she calls an artillery strike on them. So while they're getting bombed, she's just watching them. And she's like, look at them running around like ants. Pathetic. They deserve to die. Damn. But while she's doing this, she ends up getting attacked. So she's like, hey, cuz, I need reinforcements. But then they say, I'm oh, sorry, but uh, we ain't got no reinforcements right now. <laughs> so you all on your own. Delay the enemy till then. Over and out, my nigga. <laughs> and look at her, she like, oh, hell no. They're sending me to die. But then she just starts losing it. She like, well, oh, f Oh! It's like we on pack watch tonight. So she blitzes them and starts blasting. <laughs> oh my Damn. God, she Damn. blew up his arms. But then she ends up running out of ammo, so she's like, huh, looks like I have to improvise. Hiya. So she sucks this nigga. Then she grabs homie from behind and she's like, do you want to go boom boom? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. oh, shit. Oh my God, she killed all of them. And look at her fall and she's like, <laughs> Pussies. <laughs> so that she ended up getting an award. And now they done put her on the front lines. So she starts fighting this company right here and she just starts going Damn. ballistic. So then she blisses these dudes and cuts homie's head clean Ooh. with a ginormous smile on her face. So she is just collapsing them. So then she flies all the way up and starts talking to him. Attention, you are on Imperial grounds. This is our land, so f off with that busted ass hockey puck on your head. Damn. So obviously they don't listen. So they just start shooting at her, but she just eats it. So she's like, uh, so uncivilized. Well, time to pull out the aim lock. Oh no, not the 25 kill streak. No. <laughs> well, time to pull out the aim lock. Tactical nuke, Oh, what a bullet is that? Oh, shit. So she ends up nuking them. Oh! Damn. Dramatic. So after the shot, she's like, <coughs> God damn, your packs ain't hard as shit. Yo, now, please surrender and, uh, Lieutenant, I think they're dead. God damn it. So after this, Ooh, Tommy packs ended up hard as shit. with these two soldiers. So these dudes end up trying to go take out the artillery, but that's not their orders. So Tanya's like, yo, the f y'all doing, man? That is not my orders. Get y'all asses back here. But they didn't listen and did it anyways. So later on, when they get back to camp, uh -oh. she calls them in and she says, all right, y'all niggas going home. You can't listen to orders. I ain't got no patience for somebody that can't do their job. But they like, hell no, nah, I'm playing work. So then she just looks at him and says, so are you saying that you're disobeying me? So you're saying I should kill you niggas right here. Oh. But Victoria ends up stopping her. So she's like, ah. Fine, f out of my face. But don't think y'all getting off light. So after <laughs> this, those two ended up getting stationed at the rear because Tanya sent them there. So some the days rear. end up passing. So they end up getting a report saying that those two dudes, Cursed and Harold, are dead. Oh. They ended up getting hit by a random shell. So Victoria goes and tells Tanya, yo, uh, Cursed and Harold are dead. And she's like, yeah. I know. Oh, damn. She's like, wait, 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 what? <laughs> then Tanya says, that pillbox is very exposed and is an easy target for artillery fire, oh. don't you think? So then she realizes, oh my God, <laughs> Lieutenant, did you send them <laughs> niggas to die? <laughs> oh, it's the road, son. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, bro. She sent them to their death because she knew that place was going to get attacked. Damn. She said, I am the judge, jury, and executioner. Facts. Oh my oh, God. No. I can honest a guy in this trial right here just off of that. Right. But this is just the beginning. It uh, gets 10 times worse. Oh boy. But yeah, that was exhibit A, and it's time to move exhibit on. Exhibit A be hard as exhibit hell. Exhibit B. Jeez, bro, bro, that's <laughs> All right, ladies. Brutal. Bro, I now present to you exhibit B. War crimes. Oh boy. So Tanya ends up getting permission from the generals to have a special battalion all to herself. <laughs> oh no. So they give her a month oh. to train them. 
So at the training ground, she ends up blowing up the entire place. So she's like, wake up, bitches. Oh. It's time for target practice. But not for y'all, for me. Oh. So hope y'all can survive for 36 hours. What? So she ends up shooting up a bunch of duds. But then one ends up blowing up. So she's Damn. like, oh, I forgot. I accidentally added some live shells in there, too. So uh, good luck. So this ends up going for 36 Dog, what, what the kind of rogue <laughs> shit is that? Bro, you gotta survive a barrage of fucking hours, bro. <laughs> projectiles, and some of them are live bombs for 36 hours. Yo, she said, Hey, hey, yo, wake up. <laughs> How's that training? That shit is a whole dead. day and a half. So then after this is over, she's like, wow, y'all did it. Congratulations. Now let's start exercise two. Huh? Y'all got 48 hours to get your asses to the camp. So uh, quit looking at me stupid and get the stepping. Is this nigga serious? So she made them track all the way through the freezing cold mm -hmm. and through enemy territory to the new camp. So then they also ended up getting hit by an avalanche. Damn. And she's just standing over him like, wow, y'all some bums. So bro right here is knocked out. So she flies over to him and kicks the <laughs> shit out of him. Damn. Then she just picks up dude right here and she's like, God damn y'all sorry as shit. So about a month later, their training arc finally completes. And look at her, she's like, ah. Wish some of y'all died, but oh well, congratulations. Wow. You are no That's longer cold. bitches. So let's go catch some bodies. So they end up fighting this one country called Daki. So while they lighten them up, Tanya's just looking down on them like, wow, they are pathetic. What are they doing? The f are they? The British in the Revolutionary War? They're lighting <laughs> up in a line. Nigga, this ain't 1776. So later on, they end up finding their base. So she lands and she's like, greetings, welcome to the fatherland. What is the purpose of your visit? Do you have your visas? Cause if not, we're gonna have to deport your asses. Body bags included. So they start shooting at her and she says, so uncivilized. Kill them, kill them now. <laughs> wow. So then after this, she's like, all right, y'all wanna have some fun? Let's go to their capital and blow that sky high. So that night Whoa. they end up pulling up to their capital. So they end up giving Tanya the megaphone and she's like, <clears throat> Greetings, greetings, everybody. It is my job to inform you that we are about to blow your shit sky f high. Oh. This is your only warning. All right, kill them niggas. So they Damn. end up just blowing up. Oh. God. So after That's this, cold. they end up having another battle. So in this one, she said, just so y'all know, I cancel reinforcements. I need to know if y'all got that dog in y'all. So then this <laughs> dog end up I need to know if y'all got that the dog. dog. <laughs> Not up. canceling like, reinforcements, ah, yes, bro. Time for some action. So then she ends up jumping on the plane. Then she says, greetings and goodbye. I'm going to just leave this right here if y'all don't mind. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> So then the other planes start retreating. So she's like, where do y'all think y'all going? Allow me to show you the latest and greatest aimbot. Oh no, she got an aimbot. So she shoots it and oh my God. Damn. The most broken ass I have ever seen. Nah, that aimbot is out of control. That rivals Roberta's. Instead Back. of phase, nah, I'm taking us for a throwback. Optic Tanya, <laughs> so Then she goes down to inspect the plane. But then time stops and you know who starts speaking to her again. Yo, what's good, little nigga? You like the wood I sent you to? So. Send your ass back to Ward War 1 so you can dig yourself out the trenches. Really? That's why I sent your ass to trench warfare, nigga. But then she ends up just shooting him. She's like, dog, I ain't got time for your bamboozled ass. Damn. Shenanigans today. So then about a minute later, she finds this cabin. So then she says, God! Oh. oh my god. Damn. Oh. oh my god. Should have been stationary in a whack wooden building. So then after this, Tanya ends up committing one of the most awful war crimes ever. So a resistance was forming in the Republic territory that they took over. So Tanya's crew pulls up and they try to ambush them, but this did not go well at all because mm -hmm. she ended up bodying them. So after they crush this entire resistance, she ends up telling them, yo, all y'all better surrender now. But obviously they don't. So this one Imperial guy ended up running out, but they ended up shooting. 
<laughs> but Tanya was recording the entire time, just waiting for them to slip up and take the bait. So that gave her the permission to wipe out the entire town. So she oh, wow. ordered an artillery strike on the entire place and just destroyed everything. Damn. Home, civilians, it didn't matter. Everything was just getting blown up. So Damn. hours later, after the barrage finally ends, they end up getting orders to take out the remaining mages. But the thing is, the mages are by a bunch of civilians trying to evacuate. Oh, but no. Tanya's like, hmm. I don't care. An order's in order. So bro right Damn. here comes in and he tries to stop her. He's like, yo, this is just morally wrong. This is yeah. terrible. But she's like, an enemy is an enemy. Look at all them civilians right there. You think that some of them ain't going to turn into soldiers one day? Oh, buddy, you best believe they are. Oh, oh yeah, bro. He got that. Got I'm going to get you. When I get older, I'm going to get my revenge. And I'm not going to stop until I get you. Oh, no. Woman, kid. It don't matter. So then she smacks homie and puts him on the ground. So then she puts the gun on the ground and she says, so what's it going to be? You or them? You can follow waters, can't you? So do it. <laughs> and let's just say that was a very dark day. So yeah, that was exhibit B. Damn. That was, that time was cool. For our final exhibit. Jeez. Exhibit C. <laughs> She is right, ruthless. Well, it's technically here, but it's finally. still. Right. <laughs> Exhibit C. Yeah. Tearing apart a family. Oh, no. Meet Colonel Sue, a colonel from the U.S., like literally homeboys from Arkansas. So his <laughs> daughter ends up giving him this gun. And this is very important. So later on, they end up having this battle with Tanya. And Tanya and them f***ing them up. I ain't Damn. gonna lie. Colonel Sue's forces are dropping like yeah. flies. So then he sees Tanya and he starts having PTSD. He's like, wait a minute. I remember you. You're that little girl that took out my whole squad that one day. So oh. I'm gonna kill your ass. So he is a Russian her, but she just stabs the life oh. out of this man. Damn. So she looks at him and she's like, wait a minute. Haven't I seen you before? Well, uh, it really don't matter. <laughs> You're a side character. I'll be taking that down. Oh, so she kills him and leaves him for dead. Or so we thought. Because bro was still alive. He somehow Ow. tanked it. He tanked it with the power of God. So about a week <laughs> later, while they on another mission, bro comes back. Oh. And look at him. He's tripped uh -oh. out with an eye patch now. Oh, so no. He's going crazy. He got the trench gun and everything. Bro Damn. is not playing games. Damn! So he ends up getting close, she kicks a gun out of his hand and pulls out the attack knife. So she stabs him and she's like, yeah. How you like that, big boy? But bro ate the knife and he's about to explode himself. But oh! little duckling ended up coming and saving her. So then she pulls out his gun and she's like, say goodnight, motherfucker. So she ended up dumping the whole Damn! Oh yeah, he did that. Bro had no choice, so he just Whoa! blew himself out. <laughs> And look at a coffin. <coughs> Pack watch, nigga. Rip Bozo, you won't be missed. Appreciate the new gun. So, uh -oh. He called Pack it watch. Pack watch. Rip Bozo. <laughs> That's the Pack watch. Oh, After man. she offed him, his daughter, the person that gave him that gun, Mary Sue, ended up enlisting to avenge her father. Uh -oh. And dear God, her name is Mary Sue for a reason. Oh, because no. she is a literal Mary Sue. She is broken. She's got the power of Jesus and Tanya's power on crack. So Tanya Damn. gets sent off to this country that's basically Russia in their world. So she gives them the mission briefing. So Victoria asks her, yo, are we permitted to defend ourselves or what? And she says, they're communist. Blow the shit out of them. Oh! Oh. So they get to Moscow. And she's like, all right, y'all know what to do. Like this bitch up. So they just start wreaking havoc and blowing up everything. Damn. And she saw this statue and said, hmm, I don't like that shit. Tear that shit down. So then after Damn. they destroyed the place, she's like, ah, that looks way much better. I should invest in real estate here now. So then after this, they do one of the most absolutely disrespectful things I've ever seen. They plant their flag uh, on their capital and starts to sing their national anthem yeah, that is, while cold. shooting a music video. Yeah, that's wild, bro. Whoa. Oh, no, nah, bro. Who that's in another their level. right yeah. mind would think of this? That's, this is that's a hostile savage. takeover on another level. She disrespected them in their hood. So then here come old Mary Sue cooking her head ass. So Tanya says, my God, you are a bother. Here, eat my empty man. <laughs> So then she gut checks her, and then Mary Sue's like, wait, wait, wait a minute. 
Isn't this the gun that I bought my dad? Uh-oh. Nah, this was the that killed my dad! So then Tanya just starts lighting her up with her own gun that she bought her dad. And she put her ass out of commission. Damn. So then a couple days pass out another battle and Mary ends up pulling up again. So they start fighting. So Mary's like, you stupid little nigga, you killed my papa. And Tanya's <laughs> like, uh, do you think I care? Not my problem, Not bitch. Her papa. So Tanya ends up just straight up nuking. Damn! So she goes down to see if she's still alive. And she starts walking out oh. that hole like the Terminator. Oh, she shit. Said, bitch, you best oh. know I'm from Arkansas. The f I'm a oh, no. back, nigga. <laughs> so so she's up Arkansas. socking Tanya and sends her into the spin cycle. <laughs> then she's looking at her like, I waited for this day so goddamn long. So Damn. she just starts beating her. Me oh, give her the beat. Get your ass up, girl. So then after she finishes beating the life out of Tanya, she starts looking at this angel and she's like, ah, oh, yes, praise God. But Tanya ends up throwing a knife in her. So she tries to attack her, but she pops her. And then she said, you uncivilized animal. Tell your daddy I said hello. Oh! Hey, yo! <laughs> oh my God, bro. She is just different. The dad and the daughter? <laughs> oh. But right before oh. she's about to finish her off, homeboy ended up coming in and saving her. Ooh, she got lucky. Yeah. Look at her. She like, damn. Should have domed her ass. <laughs> Dog. Damn. <laughs> All right, I've seen enough. Sit down. This is just demonic. The yeah. war crimes committed. Killing your own men. Literally traumatizing Mary Sue, as well as killing her father with a gun that she gave him, as well as cussing out God on multiple occasions? This is truly the spawn of Satan. Fact. So yeah, oh, that's yeah. another episode down. So uh hope y'all enjoy it. Make sure this is a good one, man. Oh, yeah, for sure, to the bro. Second oh bro, yeah. She uh <laughs> she's on a whole nother level. level. Bro. Like, for bro, real, bro. This nigga say hey. Tell your father I said what up. Damn. Damn. Cold, bro. End it. Tell your dad I said it was goody. <laughs> she was smoking on packs. She was smoking on multi packs, nigga. Coughing on them. <laughs> That's what <laughs> Nah, man. That was another good video, man. Nah, Let us know sure, sure. in the comment section who we should do next. What mm -hmm. other video we should be checking out, man. Y'all yeah, loving the content. Again, appreciate CJ the champ yeah. for putting this dope stuff together and prayers to him as well. Keep on yeah, for sure. spreading love out there, lad, and continue to be love. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Until next Rogue Squad. We out. Already. This from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.